It is time for Better Learn! Good evening, dear viewer. Please, come take a seat. I've calmed down somewhat since that introduction. I hope you're well. Um, I'd be very excited a lot, uh, for this game, along with a lot of people, I think. I thought my grandkids would get the pleasure of playing this game someday, but little did I know that I was destined to play it on the 30th of March, 2020, just before the coronavirus wiped us all out. Come, pop a squat. Let me tell you that tale of how I ventured out on this adventure. Sorry I didn't put the camera on, by the way. I've run out of costumes. <laughs> I had to sell them all for toilet paper and the pointed sticks all the pointed sticks I could get, just in case the apocalypse should break outside my doorstep. So you'll have to make do with just this voiceover whilst I introduce the video to it, but we'll make it into a little story arc, shan't we? I'll tell you the tale of how I played Bannerlord for the first time on that fateful day, the 30th of March, 2020, just before the coronavirus went all that. This will probably be the first part of, of a series as well. I can tell you all the chapters of my tale through Calradia. We'll have a... A grand old time, I'm sure. Don't worry about Uxbridge over there. He's, he's he's never been the same since the accident. So don't don't mind him over there. But yes, so far the game has given us a very good impression, though. A lot of these will probably have been fixed by the time the videos come out, but I'm sure you'll remember them fondly. But I am giving this game a 10 out of 10 already because any game that features child soldiers, epic character creation and customization, and facial recognition features such as these. 10 out of 10. Perfect. This is what, you know, when those two Microsoft brothers in a basement 30 years ago made the first fucking Pong game, this is what they had envisioned. This is where gaming was headed, and we have finally peaked. As human beings, we have peaked. So without further ado, let me tell you the tale of Dinklemus in Calradia. Bigger me. Blaze. And a lot. <laughs> we are here! It is time! The Lord has blessed us with the righteous day! We have got the fat alone, people! It is here! It is here! Look at it! It is here! It has released a day early! An entire day early! Oh my! Mwah. Thank you, God. Mwah. It, it is here. The blessed day. Oh my God. I can't even. I, I'm, I'm so. I am so ready for this. I can't even tell you. I'm so excited. Mm. All right. Let's go in with a campaign. All right. I'm going to stop with the voice now. Can you sort of a little bit? Just a little bit excited. <laughs> right. Uh, I've got to pick my uh, culture. I kind of want to go like Nordic, like the Sturges, like a snow people type. Oh, it even tells you. Oh, I could just think. I thought you just pick and it goes. So the Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the Empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. The Sturgeons. We have the Empire. Right, let's go Sturgia then. There's so much to play with here. There's so much excitement in it. Oh, good lord, I thought he was in the nude just then. Do I want to be male or female? Oh, good lord! <laughs> Those are... Okay, thank god for that idea. <laughs> I want to be a very paley boy, because we're up north, so it makes sense. I want to be a very... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to be like a mountain man from the north. I kind of want to look like... I want to look fierce. I want to look... Viking hairstyle, I think. Let's go with a nice. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she was my early childhood. <laughs> I like that I kept my hair. Enter your name, Gutrag. I don't like that name. Can I be like Dinkimus? Like I'm son of Maximus. I am Dinkimus. Dinklemus. Dinklemus. Son of Maximus. <laughs> I'm like his retarded younger brother. <laughs> It's been, I feel like he's like a northern brother. It's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fordor and Alishka? Are we up for a fight? You're damn right, Nozon, we're up for a fight. 
It's what father would have wanted. This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off our brush off our skills. The practice could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders. I don't know if I need the tutorial, but I'm. I guess I'm, I might as well, maybe. One eternity later. A hundred gigabits. How big's the map? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's huge. I don't want to do training. Go away. Brother, before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here uh, where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. All right, brother, let's go. Let me just look around the map. Oh, <laughs> look at my smile. That smile, that damned smile. <laughs> right, okay, so this is huge. Okay, let's set up to, to V, so it's over there. How do I do it? Do I just click, like, with the old ones? We're off! Oh, yes, look at that. Okay. Uh, I've arrived at the village. We want to take a walk around, so I want to go and try and get some food. We're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. All right, Nozon, I'll go and have a look. Oh, the headman can probably help us. Let's try to find it. Oh! It's a chicken. People, I come looking for weary, uh, not weary, travellers who wish to embark on a journey. Ugly sow. <laughs> oh, he's holding it. Oh, he's not holding the chicken, he's holding the rug. Excuse me. Excuse me, child. Oh, I thought you could run them over. That would have been fun. Running over children my horse. Can I run over pig? Oh, that's not fun. There's no collisions. You just knock them out of the way. Headman Jupiter. I am Jupiter, headman of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think that they may have passed this way. They got the old people too? Sorry to hear that. I feel like I need to do the voices more. This game needs to be more invested, doesn't it? Ah, uh, they got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. Really? We've got some lovely filth down here. Oh, how'd you do? There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time, name of Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. <laughs> <laughs> we last saw him a few days ago. <laughs> I should have picked maybe a lesser character to have the Monty Python voice, because this is quite hard to keep going for long um, lines. I need to kind of... I don't know. Yupitor doesn't seem like a very strong character. He seems a bit, like, dull, doesn't he? He seems a bit like a dullard. He'd be like, he was carrying some sort of chest, which we were very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said. Oh, he won't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders come through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type. Just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you keep an eye out for him, this Tectios, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little bit more about his quest. Cheers, Jupiter. See you later, me old man. Come on, nose on. Loyal nose on. Let's just ride. Oh, God, there's a lot of raiders chilling about, isn't there? Blimey. I sound like Monty Python's Brian's mother. I do, don't know. You listen here. He's not, not the Messiah. Messiah. He's, He's a very naughty boy. boy. Stay with me, lads. We'll make short work of these bastards. Die or be enslaved. Ah! Oh! I killed one. Where are you all going? Help me, damn it! It's very hard to control this horse. I need a weapon with more reach. This is ridiculous. I haven't really- this axe is useless in this range. Oh, sorry, I just shot your horse. Oh, I shot your horse as well. Stop riding into them when I fire. Hey, got him. 69 damage received. Uh, delivered. Nice. Oh, there he goes. Okay, well done, lads. We showed them what for, eh? Victory is ours. Well done. Uh, oh, can I take them prisoner? Yes, we have prisoners. Get used to slavery, my dude. Right. I've got new stuff. I can have a cub. Very cool. I like it. Okay. What are those sheep doing over there? Let us go and rescue our doctor. Wherever he may be. Now, this one must have the doctor in them. Victory! Again! Well done. Did we get the man? Did we get the doctor? Is he... Is he here? I rescued several prisoners that the raiders had been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. I, I don't like that look. They all look a bit simple in this game, don't they? I like his big ears. 
I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. You're welcome, Tactios. My name is Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. <laughs> I was with a caravan, and it just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom, but then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. Oh dear. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to help, uh, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value, if you knew where to sell it. Thank you, Taxios. I was trying to find more about it, alright. But as I say, I've had my all, all, mm, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Well, keep that in mind. I don't want to stop talking to it. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and swore it was related to the Nezretz's volley. Hmm. I don't know what that means, except that Nezretz's was, of course, the Emperor, who died in battle some years back. Maybe you could find out its true value. Thank you, Tactios. I'll be on my way now. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. God, that one does talk, doesn't he? On and on. Right. Find the hideout of Radagos's gang and defeat them. Oh, there it is. It's up there, look. Mountain Bandits 6, Raiders 4, Raiders 4. So there's 14 men up there. Boom! Quick mess! I'm sure we've probably got better men than they do anyway. We can probably go for it. Where do they dwell? Where do they hide? Oh, there they are, look. They're all sitting around that campfire. Oi! Well, that pissed them off. Well done, Nets. Oh my god, what are they? He looks like a big man. Why am I just waltzing up to him like this? Big Dick Dinkle. So, who's this that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. <laughs> Already sent most of them south to a slave market, I know, though. What? Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that or I force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Very well. I'll duel you, you fucker. Come on, then. Ah, oh, come on, go out! 